bro. Yeah. So, boy, this is actually crazy. But, yeah, man, so, your boy about to be in his truck. I might as well get the truck motor inside the truck so I can at least have something decent or fun to drive. Because this going to be a sour summer, bro, if I can't do no burnouts. I, bro, this going to be sour, bro, if I can't do no burnouts. So, but, yeah, man. It just sucks, man. This happened right before summer hit. Like, bro, my car breaks in June. The worst month for your car to break. Why couldn't it break in August? Why couldn't it break in September? Like, it breaks in June. June, bro. Of course, we got the Corvette here. I could drive this whenever I want, but, like, I don't want to drive that, man. I want to drive my car. There's nothing like driving your own car, bro, but, man. It's like, I don't even want to get the insurance involved because, like, the car not totaled or nothing like that. And then I got all these performance mods on it and stuff. I don't even have the stuff to put the car back to stock, you know, and then put the stock tune back on it. I, I don't have all the parts. Just what I should have kept, but I thought it don't even matter. So I want to keep the car anyways, because I, I really, I wanted to see my build all the way through. I, I wanted a crazy, naturally aspirated Camaro. So yeah, man, I got to keep my head up. I got to finish this stupid build. This basically done. I just gotta put the, the rockers on it, the valve cover, and I could throw this engine inside my truck, but <sighs> sorry, man. I never thought I was gonna be making one of these videos, you know? Bro, I never thought that I would be making one of these videos, so everything happens for a reason, though. I guess I wasn't supposed to be driving my car this summer, so I guess I'm about to just focus on school, save up the money, and then just slowly build the car correctly. Probably go get it in the garage. I'm probably gonna build this car. I'm probably just gonna build it like, bro, it's, it, it, at this point, it's not even gonna be my daily driver no more. It's turning into a project anyways. 1,500 miles, I was already up B.O. Man, I, drag strip, racing every weekend, beating on the car every red light. I mean, it was bound, it was, it was, it was only time. It's like 1,300, 13,000 miles of hard miles just beating on the car. Every time I take the car out, Okay, listen here. I had the car for three years. I only got 15,000 miles on it. And I don't drive far. So at most, the farthest I drive is like 30 miles. 30 to 60 miles a day or something like that. If I'm actually driving, driving 30 to 60 miles a day. But let you know, every time I'm driving a car, it's always going near red line. Like I, when I drive my car, I don't cruise because like if I want to cruise, I'm going to drive my truck. When I drive my car, I want to drive my car. And so, yeah, it's only it was only a matter of time before that thing, it, it blew up, man. Like, I wish it didn't blow up the way it did. I wish it kind of just like, it threw, I don't know if it threw a rod. I gotta break it down, I gotta see. But like, I wish it was just like, I wish it just kind of like dropped a valve or something. Or something like, like the way it blew the block up. <laughs> like that's the worst way it could have blew up blocks ain't cheap so yeah it, it blew the block up that's the worst way it's not something you could just fix and I'm, I'm not about to even go through trying to weld the block it don't I gotta see how bad it is but like I I, I don't even want to do that well we go we about to go the race car route so y'all about to see some videos we about to do a whole rebuild process I didn't have nothing to post on YouTube I guess I got something to post now it's about to be crazy. It ain't even about to be crazy. It's about to be boring because I can't drive my car. And it's, I don't know. I just got to break the car down. I got to, like I said, I'm about to take everything down, savage whatever I could savage. Really, the only thing I got to do is basically just get a new block. And you might as well. I can't even use the cam I bought. Like, I bought a cam for the car. I bought BTR's Weekend Warrior 220 cam, the little kit. But... I don't even want to do that. I'm about to go a whole custom route. So year three of having the car blew it up. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. Yeah, bro, it's over. This boy blew up, y'all. It looked perfectly fine, but it's not. So over here, where my flashlight go? Well, anyways, you can look down here. You can't really see it. But right down there, blocks of, it's a uh, chunks of block is down there oil splatter everywhere. I'm gonna get better pictures of it, but. Yeah, it's like, this boy blew up last night, y'all. He got oil all in the pipes. 
this boy done. And right now, it's like, do you get a different car? Or do you just build this one up? But like, bro, this is a brand new car. You got 14,000 miles on it. Guess you gotta pay to play, but dang, bro. Like, this side cool. This side blew up. I think like, uh, when I was running it though, it said low engine, like low oil pressure, like oil pump failed or something. That's what I honestly think happened, the oil pump failed. It, it said low oil pressure and then boom, everything just started happening, bro. I don't even know. I don't even wanna look at it for real. I gotta get it up in the driveway. Cause I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know. Whatever I do, I know if I do end up fixing it, I'm not putting the same motor in here. There's no purpose. Mm -hmm. Bro, sad. That's just so sad. All right, y'all, so with all that being said, we about to do a whole, well, this is like three, this is like the two weeks later. This is two weeks later, so we about to just go ahead. I'm about to do a whole, we about to do a quick build. Uh, what I want to say, it's not gonna be quick. It's probably gonna be over the two month span. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, two to three months span. But we about to start breaking down the engine. We about to see what's all broken in there. You know what I'm saying? We about to see what's all going on in there. So I'm gonna record the whole process of me breaking it down. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try not to drag it. I'm gonna try and put it in like two videos, max. So. The first one is gonna be me taking apart basically the top end of the motor, checking everything out. The second part, we gonna be checking the bottom of the motor. So, and you might do a third one. So when we take it out and I actually take the insides of the motor out cause my uncle's gonna help me pull it out. So yeah, we got some big stuff coming, man. Like, just wait, it's gonna come back better. I was talking about, thinking about selling the car, everything, but it was just, I was just so salty. But I'm like, the car paid off. It was my dream car. You know, I special ordered it from the factory, everything. So I can't give up on it yet. So I was I was right there thinking about getting rid of this car. I was like so dumb. I wanted to switch up platforms, everything. But so I'll get back with y'all next episode. I'm about to just start dropping content this week. That's why I've been kind of dry with the content because, man, dude, because I, I literally, I had everything. I got my cam kit sitting in my room. Got, I was about to order the pistons for the car to drop in pistons. And I was about to go uh, send my heads off to get ported. I was literally about to build the car. It was about to be heads and cam full bolt-ons. Like, I, had, I got the Z01 fuel system in my garage. Like, it was ready. Like, I was about to do that. Then I was going to put the motor in my truck. But then I just lost, like, all my drive and motivation, bro from like when that happened i was like bro i got irritated but you know this just give me like now i have to rush my build you know so i'm just looking at all the bright stuff so it's gonna be bigger and better things though so i'm gonna let y'all know i'm gonna start hinting at what we gonna be doing we still gonna do what i said i wanted i wanted like a super fast naturally aspirated car so i'm giving y'all a hint already again so yeah, man, that's it. Catch your boy in the next episode. Stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? Peace.